What's going on fam? Welcome to the FOMO channel. Hey, I hope everyone's having a good day out there today. Today, we're going to be talking about what happened in the carnage last night or day or whatever time it was in the US for you. There was obviously two big bits of information. I did say Bitcoin was going to, well, the, the thumbnail says BTC to 26,000, but actually I was more, in the video, I do say 26.8 is the number I'm looking for. And it did go down to about 26.5 if you noticed that yesterday. So let's have a look at the carnage yesterday first and foremost which i thought was really really interesting i took the opportunity though to do something in that carnage so what happened was there's two bits of information coming out as you guys were aware it was the rate hike the rate hike did go ahead as pretty much scheduled and pretty much predicted by everyone it was going to happen and then the second bit obviously was the news conference which um pal did himself now as the news conference was having so the first bit of information came out. The market was kind of steady. This is on the 15-minute BTC time frame. You can see that right here. Then on the second bit, this is where things got a little bit dicey. And it just kept going down, 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 down. Then we got a bit of money flow coming in over here, and it slowly started to go back up. And since then, it's been kind of like trending slightly, I want to say up and sideways. <laughs> but overall, what I did in the meantime was I took the opportunity um, in the FOMO trading group. I didn't actually call it, but let me just go into the group. Um, hang on a second. Let me go jump into the group here. We did call this one here in the group, and we did hit our target, and our target price current as we exited it. So that was quite a good one. It was a 5x long. And then we did call. I, I jumped into this one here. Actually, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this one here was more of a 200 percenter. I will show that to you in the next video as well. Uh, it wasn't really 110 percent. So I managed to take up, if you can read that, that was 100x long. And the long came in somewhere around 26, uh, entry was 27, 26,782. So around the 26,800 mark, which is where I thought BTC would go down to. It actually went all the way down to 26 right here. 26, 6. 86 was the price is my understanding anyway so yeah it did drop down quite a bit and then now it's slowly been building itself back up all day you can see over here it's been slowly 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 trying to try to build itself up look i personally um not sure exactly where it's going to go but it did spin off like i start my day as every day i will look at the first thing i look at i wake up is what color is bitcoin <laughs> um where is it? Where is it sitting today? It holds the market. Ethereum, maybe kind of two I look at most. Uh, and then you can see here it's a green day, beautiful green day over here, which I like. So normally my rule of thumb is really quite simple. If it's green, long it. If it's red, short it. Uh, if your daily starts off at red and it's a red candle, it's very hard to short unless you have some other previous bit of information that's going to help. And it's always trending as well. You're looking at the trends in the market to do this kind of thing so i look at the trends all the time and that's how i make my decision um on the daily it says here that you know like you should still be shorting bitcoin um the money flow has dried up that was coming in so that was the money flow coming in trying to really prop it and now it's dried up a little bit could have been a good entry over here if you could have taken a long i did take that long obviously uh, i think still looking at a 28,000, 29,000 bounce back somewhere around there. You'd have to go, be very hard to go, not say 29, 28, see 28, 954, even around that area for a bounce back. And then your next bounce, you should be taking a short if you can. Now again, guys, none of this is financial advice. Please do your own research and, and do your own technical analysis as well. Now, at first, I was one of those guys that would just follow people and blindly go, but now I do my own TA as well. Started to learn. I do have a good teacher in Grandula Trader, uh, Grand Cooler Trader. So I, do, I might put a link down to his um, trading thing as well so you can, guys can follow him. He has taught me a lot and keeping it to the basics, even to the point where I did have a lot more buying indicators and I've started removing indicators because indicators... You can't trust them, <laughs> you really can't. Whoa, was that a bird just, whoa. That was a bird just flew past my window. Okay, beautiful. Anyway, so looking at it, I, I think that's where we're gonna be looking at. And I think there'll be a bounce back coming back. Obviously it's gonna retest up here, it definitely will. 
and if we have a lot of money flow coming in, obviously it will go back up. Now it comes down to a few things as well. How many more banks are going to fall down? What's going to happen over the last few days? I know the US uh, government. Today, when the market opens, it's really interesting for me because of what happened yesterday. I'm quite keen to see where the money flow is going to go and get a better idea of what I want to do. I haven't taken many trades today. I've only actually, I'm only actually currently in one trade. It's the, it is at the moment on the shorter time frame looking a little bit. It is the APT trade that I'm currently in. Now I am looking at the moment also at TRX quite closely. I've got that on my watch list and also got that on my alerts as well. Now there, if you aren't aware of what happened with the TRX, the US securities, um, Trans founder Justin Sun was sued by the U.S. securities, uh, sued by the U.S. SEC on securities, sorry, and market manipulation. The main thing they're talking about is extensive washing pro washing trading with TRX and BTT, which are unregistered securities. Uh, so the. I think there's a, a bigger agenda here that we're not looking at, and I'll try and paint a bit better picture next time in one of my videos. And I have been quite, I have been spending a lot of time researching that. So once that happened, obviously the native token of TRX fell by 13%. This was unrelated to the actual news as well. On, on top of the news by the FOMAC as well, the Fed as well, the TRX token just kind of died. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys saw that yesterday. Let's just go back to TRC, TRX. So keeping a very close eye on this one here, there could be more information related. There could be more information on the daily. That is a huge red candle, if you guys can see that. And that's a that's red today as well, uh, if you guys aren't aware. So there's been some money flow trying to come in. And this was the first. This is the TRX news, obviously. Then it's followed by, yeah. So this is this is something that I have been looking at. I mean, they've been propping it up. The scheme required a significant supply of TRX, which Sun allegedly, allegedly provided. So he does own a lot of TRX, you know. <laughs> so it's a very interesting one for me to follow up. And the other one, inter interesting one at the moment is um, for all those Ripple fans out there, you know. <laughs> I know um, all those Ripple fans are super excited about their coin at the moment. You know, XRP, the XRP army, you know, they've been holding and holding and holding. And there's a bit of good news yesterday. And then XRP kind of just jumped off the wall as well. So I sh wanted to short it, but I missed the short. My entry price would have been around, I think yesterday if I looked at it, yeah, my entry price was going to be around 49 cents, 50 cents, and I missed it, and it's on a buy signal again. But I don't feel comfortable, though it's above the EMA at the moment, I don't feel comfortable entering it because there's a lot of money flow still going out. This is the daily. It's a that's a green daily candle as well. And I don't feel like going against the grain to short it. On the hour candle, let's have a look at it. Uh, it's still green, it's still up. A lot of money flowing going on. It's got a nice blue wave as well. So the hour looks pretty good. And what about the 15? Let's have a look at the 15 as well. Now, I know a lot of people look at the 12 minute charts as well. 12 and 15 minutes is preference. Um, I am looking at this on the 15 at the moment. Yeah, a little bit of this, this green over here. You could probably long that actually. <laughs> um, again, don't take me a hit for it. Looks pretty healthy though to me. Uh, overall, I think Bitcoin, yeah, 28. I'm waiting for the bounce back. I currently not, don't want to take any trades because I'm, I, I am curious as to what will happen today when the market opens. And then I'll be looking Friday, usually with bullish Friday. I call it bullish Fridays, bullish Saturdays. Usually the weekends are quite good for trading. Let's have a look and see what happens. Monday's a dull day, as I call it. So let's see what happens over the week. And thank you for watching the video. Once again, guys, I mean, all, all your comments, your likes, and everything really help. I know we only got 40-odd views in the last video. Hopefully, you guys will spend some time liking the video and commenting as well. Really trying to make something of this. And with your help, hopefully, I will get there. Don't forget, if you want those free calls, guys, all you have to do is jump in my Telegram group. The links are in the description as well. And... We'll continue to provide good calls over here. We're quite it's beauty this one here. Um, so I only provide I only provide like three out of five kind of good calls. I, I don't think it's possible to provide the hundred percent. That's what I've learned. And some of the TAs and some of the other guys are doing is pretty horrible, and they're making it overcomplicated by drawing charts and stuff. You don't need to overcomplicate it. You can do your own TA. I mean, it's just about taking a lesson. I'm willing to do it, and if I can teach myself, I don't see any reason why anyone else can't. Hope you all have a great Thursday out there, guys. Peace.